Hey kids, Inverted Cow here, and welcome back to Imperion Multiplayer. This lovely device that you see behind me is a big, deep hole where a POI used to be. Well, it's actually not that deep, but it is a couple layers down. Um, just to give you a point of reference here, we are just off of the... Um, uh, shipyard that uh, Chaotic Vein was starting on. Um, or not Chaotic... Yeah, it was... Yeah, I think so. It was Chaotic Vein was starting on that shipyard. Um, and just over from the Admin Trade Center there. Um, now, I'm looking at this hole and I'm like, this is a navigation hazard. I mean, it doesn't the terrain mapping shows a default terrain and then until you get to it and then it shows you any holes or pits or potholes when you get within a certain render distance which can be very 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 dangerous if you're driving along at full throttle and don't see it until you know it's like all of a sudden there's a giant gaping hole there where there wasn't a minute ago it was like just a rolling hillside um, it's just part of the texture mapping on the on the game. It's not much you can do about it. But I was looking at this hole and I'm thinking, this is a good start for a build project that I've been really saying needed to be done. Um, see, the, the thing is, is I have a whole list of build projects that need to be done. And one of them is an actual warehouse or storage facility. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually take this tank here because uh, it's got the drill underneath for drilling terrain. I use this for, I, I hit rocks and road spots and such where I can't get through. I use that drill. Uh, if I want to mine one of those meteorites, I back up to it and I'll just sit there and push the uh, keystroke on the keyboard to make the drill fire and set a hammer on it and walk away. Um, So what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump down into that hole with this tank. Now, once it goes down that hole, I, I mean, the only way I'm coming out is to build. So um, it's going to be kind of tricky. But uh, I want to get down there, and I want to do is dig this down uh, a, a lot. Actually, I'm thinking I might actually try to take it straight down to the actual bedrock. And I'm going to build an underground, mostly underground, uh, Warehouse. It's basically it's going to be a, a large, very large warehouse. Um, the majority of it is going to be stored below below ground level, and then the top is just going to have literally a small, uh, a decorative build on top, strictly for access um, to the surface. So <clears throat> it's. 1400 hours right now I'm about to jump in that hole I will see how long it takes to dig a bit of a hole and I'll be back once I've got something done so don't go away kids <laughs> for you it'll be only a second be right back hey kids we're back uh, I've been at it now for about four hours um, give or take um, and as you can see, I haven't even finished peeling one layer off of the entire uh, the entire thing. The um, little sand crab here is running low on both fuel and food, and I was expecting um, worms and spiders and all kinds of stuff to fall into the pit because every time I come over to this pit, it's usually full of those kind of things. And none of them are are doing that so uh, I have to get myself out now I have taken the time here to build a bit of a, a rampway out um, I took it down to basically where I'm at right now and all the way up to this surface this is almost entirely a temporary measure it's only going to be here long enough to finish this project and then I will uh, it will be incorporated into the wall 
because I'm, I'm going to be making the walls about three blocks thick overall. So we'll just take the drone here and I'll take a, a look. Um, I did try to see if I could actually tunnel straight down to bedrock in one spot here, one corner, just to get an idea how much further down I had to go. Um, actually, believe it or not, I did not hit bedrock. Um, this is not as deep of a hole as I had originally thought it was. So the amount of time it's going to take to finish this hole by myself with um, the sand crab here is probably going to be uh, in the magnitude of several days. Um, I will probably do is grab the scavenger truck or uh, see if I can find chaotic veins drill truck or I will simply just design uh, a, just, just literally a cube, hover cube with drills for the explicit purpose of uh, literally hogging out all of this dirt. Um, so anytime you're on a server and somebody on the server says, if you don't want people to dig to your basement, just dig to bedrock. You can tell them from me to uh, just go take a flying leap. <laughs> because unless you've got a small army of people with drills, uh, drilling machines and digging devices, digging to bedrock, I mean, this isn't even a big hole. Like, this is literally a very small POI. Um, can you imagine trying to do something larger? You'd be like an actual base size type project. Um, you'd be at it for weeks, even with three or four people. Um, so yeah, I'm going to pause here or end here, I guess. Um, I know what I'll probably do is I'm going to cut here and I'll come back to this later. I'll pick this, um, video up in a couple of days or something when I've actually made some progress. So, um, I'm going to pause and cut here. And I will be right back because from my calculations, I'm only a few minutes in to recording. So thanks all for watching, kids. Don't go away. And we'll be right back probably in three or four days. <laughs> okay, kids, we have done a lot more building or drilling. Um, I made this contraption here yesterday, last night, actually now. <laughs> uh, it's basically, it's just a large bulk drill um with some offset drills on it and a couple of spotlights it's a simple basic flat outright hover tank you know nothing fancy um and i mean there's another object in the spawn area <laughs> and we have dug the majority of this hole out to bedrock as you can see, I've got a lot of floating rock and debris and whatnot to uh, clear out. Here's the level where I was at. Um, so yeah, we've come down quite a ways. The, uh, the bulk drills speed things up a lot, but they are very hard to control and very messy. Uh, like, as you can see, they leave a lot of rock and it's like you can't take a layer off and come down. You usually end up just drilling holes straight down till you hit the bottom and then trying to force your way back out. Um, I am not a big fan of the bulk drills on the hover vessels because of their unreliability. Oh, there's a thing. So if I can figure out where I'm at here, there's my staircase. What I'm probably going to start doing next is um, I'm going to carry that wall. One more time. Come on. I'm going to start carrying that wall down. Um, there. Uh, from the top of the staircase. Start building this concrete wall all the way in here. All the way down to bedrock. And wrap it all the way around the entire perimeter of this hole. Um, and then start putting the first uh, layer of floor on uh, directly on the bedrock. So once I've got the 
Um, once I've got the walls, wherever they are, these walls here, all the way down the outside layer of wall, all the way down to bedrock, um, I'll start putting the floor in. And then what I'll do is I will probably change to a different um, drill set or I'll see if I can track down um, a, a mining turret to put on the back of this. And I'll start clearing out some of these rock and start working my way out of the hole. Um, again, three layers or three or four layers thick, probably about three layers thick all the way around. Um, and then all the way up. So that's the next part of the project to get started on. Um, I will cut again here and pick it up as soon as we have got a little bit further on, uh, probably once I've got all the concrete um, walls built. So for, for me, it'll be probably another couple of hours, maybe a day or so, but for you, it'll only be just a second. So don't go away, kids. I'll be right back. Hey kids, we're back. We have finally managed to complete getting the first layer of concrete on on the entire exterior of this build. I got a little bit of extra one over that corner here. That's not a big deal. I'll probably take it off when I get to that point. Um, of course, the ramp is still in here, which is the only access I have right now. And that's a temporary measure. I've been taking the ramp out as I go. So now that the first layer is on, I have used just over four full stacks of concrete to this point. Um, and it has taken me a couple of hours, I'd say. I picked it up a little bit this after this morning, uh, say probably about two or three hours on top of what I already had. So there we go. That's one layer of concrete. Now I am going to put on a second layer and then I'm going to put on a third uh, before I even start looking at building the floors and doing the layouts. So the next thing I'm going to do is put on the next two layers of concrete um, and I'll pick it up after I've got that on. I also have been slowly working on removing some of these globs of floating stone, um, more or less just taking the hand drill on clear terrain and removing what I need to make a tunnel down in corners and to check to make sure I have got all of my spots when sweeping across large planes. So um, once again, don't go away kids. I will be back after I've got the second and third layer of concrete on. Okay, and once again, I am back. Um, it's actually taken me about a full, uh, almost a full real life day. I had to go and actually make more concrete, believe it or not. Um, so I spent about six hours back over at the drone base, um, just grinding some combat steel. Uh, got another couple dozen stacks just sitting there ready to go, just in case I get any interested parties. Um, or we actually get anybody on who wants to build. But yeah, well, that's how it goes. But I've got the walls now three layers thick. It's three layers of concrete. Um, let me just bring up structural integrity so I can actually see. Uh, I find this works better than uh, night vision. Um, as you can see, you'll see I have a lot of stone uh, debris still buried in, in this um, in this pit that has to come out um, so there's going to be a lot of drilling yet to come but what I'm going to start on next is I'm actually going to start laying out my first oh, are you kidding like ah I pretended I was a drone earlier today and also I uh, tried to fly from the top of the thing and suddenly realized I wasn't in drone mode and I was only in third person. <clears throat> yeah, uh, there's a red smear on the ground down here somewhere from that too. But um, I'm going to start laying out my floors. 
And again, these are going to be probably about, um, I'm going to say probably about five blocks high. So one, one, two, three, four, five blocks. I'm going to put a column out. Now this is just a random thing here, but I'll bring the column out until it starts to lose structural integrity. I can see right about here. So I'll pick a good even number. I'm going to count the whole thing and then I'll put some nice columns in. If I can learn how to walk here today. I'll put some nice uh, columns. I'm actually going to use the rounded cylinder columns for these. Uh, just like that to give me structural support. And then when I put the floor down, I'm going to do is I'm going to put the ramp tops on Um, I'm going to put a, a couple of ramp tops on so it actually looks like there's an actual beam uh, there. Um, I might I might go that way or put them on like this. Um, both are different types of beam. Um, another idea I was kicking around was, if I can remember where I put them, um, use the cube half walls. Um, uh, something else I had thought about doing, but unfortunately I wouldn't be able to line up a, a column to it, is actually take the ramp tops and do this kind of thing where I have one like so and like this which give me a nice cantilevered wall and then where my support beam would be I go and I use the actual is it the beam I think will work I could either use the beam or four wall halves. Um, like this. Take a wall half down. over and down and again on this side that gives me a nice double thick layer um, beam that goes up matches with the post very nicely and still gives me the cantilevered or the um, the tapered wall. Now the drawback of course with this is it uses four squares where this one only uses one. However, I'm also carrying the load on four squares. Um, and it gives me, the, because I expect to have uh, no small shortage of space for my build, I'm not overly concerned with the, the the structure looking, you know, or being minimalistic as possible. Like minimalistic me would be this, you know, uh, designer me would be this. So more than likely going to end up being this kind of a design to carry the load, uh, simply because. That gives four bright green, the bright green blocks per uh, connection. Um, it 
come on rotate this is why you don't see me build um, it gives me four bright green blocks at each connection point rather than just one that you would get at a connection point there which means that this load will carry substantially further between fields um, so I can go side to side laterally and have substantially more structure that way um, and I could also exchange these blocks for this block and then at that junction point um, at that junction point have a block coming off of it like the half wall which would act more as a horizontal uh, cross brace in this manner um, these are still ideas I'm working out um, I'm probably I'm really thinking I might actually go with something like this because I do want the horizontal cross braces I want the cantilever or not the cantilever or the uh, tapered fit uh, I don't really care for this just the cube you know um, if I wanted to play Minecraft I'd be playing Minecraft again so you know why build with cubes um, and I'm thinking this might be the way to go and then yeah at each junction point I can carry these out to connect the junction points to give the floor a more structured look it's not so much that I'm actually going to give it any actual integrity but it would give it a look that is more designed for uh, carrying a load um, then of course the floor itself is going to be just straightforward cubes spread out on top like so um, that's basically the design that the building is going to be <clears throat> and yeah probably every five um, every five blocks up will be the beam and then the floor will be a block above it and then I will carry that all the way up back up to the, the top and at some point I'll have to make sure I include a ramp system and all that kind of fun things so I will cut again here now this has already been about two full days of recording on and off to make this part so I'll cut again here I'll come back and do one more of after I've laid out figured out what I'm going to do with these floors laid out and actually started and actually got the floors built um, once the floors are in then uh, that will be it for this video I'll do another video when I do the build the actual um, build on the surface for the for the top and then the interior of the base I am going to do I'll show some of the structure that I'm going to build but I am not going to show all of it because well quite frankly there's more to this base than what meets the eye so thanks all for watching kids don't go away I will be back one more time at least uh, to show you the product finished with the floors in and all of this stone finally removed so once again I'll be right Hey kids, we're back for the final bit here. Um, all the structure is now complete on this unit. Uh, as you can see, I have, whoops, I'm looking at the sky. <clears throat> as you can see, I have put in all of the cross members and support beams uh, where each of these floor sections is this is where a floor is going to go I've left out the floors mainly because um, I did the bottom floor and I was going through a lot of stone but I also realized I've got to figure out oops how to um, actually get up and down in here because right now I've just got the temporary ramp going but uh, as things get progressing, I will need to install some elevator blocks. 
But I've got the bottom floor here done, so I can show you what it sort of looks like. Um, as you can see, I might do is give it a little bit more detail right on the edges here. Just take the standard beam and give it one of these. Oops. Try that. Um, uh, uh, support just like this. <clears throat> Of course, these will be painted so they actually stand out, but um, if you bring up structural integrity, <clears throat> you'll see that those two blocks now have a higher glowing of green. Um, that basically means that it just gives a little bit more support to the whole unit. Uh, each one of these blocks of four is um, carrying or each one of these columns is basically carrying four solid blocks all the way up. Um, some of these patches like this where it's extra highlighted green, that's just because there's um, bits of stone still stuck in them. I haven't been able to find all of them, get them all drilled out. That's a lot of work. But uh, there we have it. This is one, this is the uh, rough structure done basically the skeletal structure of the uh, the base I'm building, well, the uh, storage facility I'm building. Um, next episode, I'm going to pick it up and I will build the surface structure. Um, will be the, the next bit I'll build. The interior, as I said, I'm probably not going to show too much on the rest of the interior build. Um, mainly because I don't want this to be uh, public, if you will. This is a PvP server. This is a PvP world. Yes, attacking on Origin Worlds is frowned on, but, um, you know, anything can happen. And I'd rather have it so that if anything happens here, uh, it's not going to completely destroy or wipe out what I have attempted to accomplish. <clears throat> um, and if I actually can jump on this stupid thing, there we go. Um, and uh, once I've got this done, then um, I'm not sure which project I'll start on next. Um, I am kind of hoping that uh, shortly I can start working on recruiting again for the faction. I um, haven't seen any of the existing faction members in quite some time, which doesn't surprise me. I mean, there was so many disgruntled people that, uh, yeah, um, it's, it's probably going to take a while before we actually get functional again. <clears throat> that being said, I do need to have uh, some ships ready to get into combat because, well, pirates are active. So, anyhow, kids, thanks all for watching. Um, the total time to build this up to this point now has been almost two full days of work. Um, so this wasn't just a small, uh, quick 15 minute kind of thing so uh, just so you know and I've gone through I think about uh, I think I'm up to about 20 uh, stacks of concrete block used to this point <clears throat> so there we have it thanks all for watching kids and good night for now <laughs>